Hello everyone, this is MJ Kim. Welcome to my Kim Kim Tosh YouTube channel. Uh, today I want to introduce the new Mac M1 chip lineup uh, because of M uh, Apple used to have um, uh, their Intel chips um, which, which is uh, i3, i5, i7, i9 but uh, from now on uh, starting November 17 all the Apple Mac Air product and also um, 13 inches uh, uh, MacBook Pro and the other for iMac and like um, you know MacBook Pro 16 inches will be replaced uh, from Intel chip to Apple chip. So let's uh, begin to start. And MacBook Air and MacBook Pro 13 inches. So welcome to the future of the Mac. So MacBook Air and MacBook Pro. So if you go to the MacBook Air, uh, it release uh, on November 17th. Our thinnest, lightest no notebook completely transformed by the Apple M1 chip. CPU speeds up to 3.5 times faster. Our GPU graphical speeds up to 5 times faster. Our most advanced neural energy yet for up to 9 faster machine learning. The longest battery life ever in a MacBook Air and a silent, fanless. Uh, MacBook Air doesn't have a fan, so this much power has never been this ready to go. So it's starting uh, uh, 1299, and uh, if you see the small chip and giant leaf M1, this is M1 processor. Then go back to the slide, then the reason I am. Um, uh, introduce Apple iCloud Unlock and then the, this M chip the, doesn't support uh, many upgrades so unless uh, you uh, purchase the you know your Apple lineup the, from the beginning for the customizing and then you will have uh, you know unless you change the logic board as a cell phone and then you will uh, you're not, uh, you are not able to the upgrade anything uh, from time to purchase so you're gonna consider the how much you're gonna spend it you know, Mac uh, th that hardware release is very solid. It will you gonna use uh, for at least uh, five years to ten years, uh, as a uh, probably as a maximum. So um, basically, um, you invest re your in return on investment is be uh, pretty uh, you know efficient. So next slide. So new Apple CPU GPU chip M1. So um, packed with a. Uh, Astonishing 16 billion transit transistors. The new M1 chip integrates the CPU, GPU, neural engine, IO, IO, and so much more onto a single tiny chip, the very small chip, combined with a new Mac OS Big Sur. M1 delivers category, smash speed, the mind behind the graphics, and power efficiency and battery life um, that uh, Defi believe. So, uh, this Apple M1 chip with the MacBook Air doesn't have a fan and then you have a longer battery life and then your the performance is uh, much better than anything else. So this is a new Apple CPU GPU chip with the M1. So next one is a uh, MacBook Air lineup. It's a uh, left side if you see the Canadian the website, the Apple website. It starts on uh, 1299 and then the M1 chip with the 512 gigabyte the storage SSD, 1649 dollars. So um, you can uh, also either choose the 8 gigabyte or 16 gigabyte customs and also um, you have a uh, a CPU and a GPU those are like uh, 999 for uh, for the basic one and then 1249 is a uh, 512 gigabyte storage so uh, this is a MacBook um, Pro 13 inches so if you uh, if you see the Apple M1 chip with the eight core CPU and eight core GPU with the 256 gigabyte storage, those are all you know basic model. And then if you want to the customizing, and you have a 16 gigabyte RAM, you are gonna spend uh, uh, uh pay 250 dollar extra, and then a 512 gigabyte SSD, uh, is a 250 and one terabyte 500, two terabyte SSD 1000. So you have a Thunderbolt 3 the you know adapt um there's a jack on uh, a port and then um, I, I'm I think and if you consider to buy the MacBook Pro 13 inches and then I would like to spend uh, $1,949 with a 512 gigabyte storage 
uh, and then also the upgrade to the 16 gigabyte RAM because uh, 16 gigabyte RAM, RAM is a maximum so I'm gonna spend probably 2600 including tax in Canadian and then $2,000 in American so uh, basically this uh, uh, 13 inches has an uh, um, Apple chips on it so if we go back to uh, this website then let's see um, uh, Mac Book Pro 16 inches so MacBook 6 uh, Pro 16 inches um, has um, uh, so just go to the buy and see what the spec will be and then I uh, introduced the last uh, video and then still use a uh, uh, 16 inches of Mac is still use a, a touch bar with a 2.6 gigahertz 6 core processor um, is a that's an Intel Core i7 and then the right one is a 2.3 gigahertz and the a core processor with a one terabyte storage is a i9 processor with a 2.3 gigahertz and a core so that's what it is so after that and then i'm gonna go back to uh, um, the mac os um, 11 big sur an old macbook pro replacement uh, is um you know the old macbook pro or macbook air or like Mac Pro uh, doesn't support this unless um, you using the open core and then EFI um, uh, configuration and you are not able to uh, install the uh, Mac OS Big Sur so uh, Mac for MacBook and 2015 or later and then our MacBook Pro is a late 2013 and later iMac is a 2014 and later Mac Pro has a 2013 and later so the my one and as you can see here and then my one is um, 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 2010 the mid 20, uh, 2010 and processor is a 3.46 um, uh, the 12 core uh, Intel Xeon and then um, this only things that uh, you can upgrade to um, you know that's uh, some modifications on it so Mac Pro uh, late 2013 MacBook Air 2013 and later Mac Mini is 2014 and later, iMac is 2014 and later, Mac Pro 2013 and later. So that's only you can use for the Mac the OS X Big Sur, uh, 11 Big Sur. Um, so Geekbench 5, and then uh, I do the Geekbench 5. So Mac Mini late 2018. So project is uh, uh, to the unlock uh, iCloud is uh, Mac Mini late 2018. This is a i3 Intel processor, 3.6 gigahertz quad core, and then um, the single core score in the Geekbench 5 is a uh, 886. Uh, this um, the chart is a line off from my um, uh, the Mac uh, test. So um, I have been testing Mac Pro 5, 5.1 as a six core, as a 657 and 3182. The ones I'm recording it right now. Is a uh, the Intel Xeon the X5690 on um, 3.46 uh, gigahertz is a 12 core and then 623 uh, single score and 6096 is a uh, the multi core score. So if you see the from uh, top to bottom, the multi core score is uh, this uh, Mac Mini 2010 uh, is the highest uh, version that I have it. So Mac Mini late 2012 Intel Core i7. This is a 654 2669 compared to the Mac Mini late 20, uh, eight, uh, 2018 uh, i3 3.6 gigahertz quad core <coughs> as a 886 and 3023. So compared to um, Mac Mini late 2012 i7 to the uh, multi core score i3. Uh, performance is a little slightly higher than uh, 20 Mac Pro uh, Mac Mini 2012, and if you see the MacBook Pro 13 inches mid 2020, 863 uh, single core is a uh, pretty much same, and then the multi core score is a uh, you know like 20 percent higher, 25 percent higher than that. So uh, except the uh, MacBook Air 2017 and MacBook Air 13 inches mid 30, uh, 2013. Uh, performance uh, as, as for the Mac Mini late 2018 is pretty good and uh, for the GPU uh, Mac Mini late 2018 is a uh, 4634 and MacBook uh, Air mid 2017 is a uh, 3314 
and then I have a Mac Pro 5.1 uh, with a Radeon uh, f um, RX uh, Sapphire uh, 580 XT. It's a 48,018. So that's the you know the the Geekbench score, uh, Geekbench 5 or Geekbench 4, and you are able to see the your the CPU and GPU score as well. <coughs> so, so first project for the iCloud Unlock is a Mac Mini Late 2018 i3 Intel i3 3.6 GHz Activation Lock. So uh, what I purchased this is from eBay and then they sell like probably like $300 less but uh, this is a big mistake for me to buy um, the, uh, uh, the used uh, uh, Mac Mini from the States because uh, they are selling this one is a $450 US and then uh, also it's convert to Canadian it's uh, pretty much the 650 to 700 and then also that the shipping fee plus import charges so altogether from pretty much I spend the 740 and then in order to the you know activate for DFU and then activation lock to unlock and then uh, I do some uh, research and uh, spend a lot of time on it so um, actually it's um, they when the original seller uh, sell, uh, return it to back to the you know their you know store actually they uh, he didn't mention that as a activation lock so the store just uh, sell uh, put that one in the market to the eBay so people who knows to how to uh, deactivate um, deactivate or bypass this activation lock and then actually that's why they are selling uh, $250 less than that so once you um, are connected to the this iMac to the you know your MacBook Pro and then you will see the uh, DFU mode and then I will explain it to you in the, uh, later cable settings and setup DFU mode is uh, you have a HDMI cable here and then the right beside uh, this is Thunderbolt 3 uh, USB-C type and then you hook it up the right be beside the uh, you know, HDMI and also um, your, you have a power uh, cable so do, don't put the you know far away from the HDMI uh, just because of uh, if you are uh, put the, uh, the cable far away it's not gonna work so the method to doing this is uh, you close to HDMI cable um, and then on the also you wanna use a power cable so in then you hold the button so take uh, you know just remove your power uh, power uh, power cable and the hold power button uh, while you are holding the power button for five seconds, and then plug uh, in the power cable. So that way, and then you wanna see from the right uh, your MacBook Pro screen is go back to the you know DFU mode. So the, the DFU mode is a configuration mode. So DFU mode, and then you will see the DFU. And if you don't uh, connect to the devices, and then connect devices, Apple configurator supports iPhone, iPad, iPod, and Apple TV. So in, in order to download the, this uh, uh, um, Apple, Apple, to Apple configurator tool, and then you go to App Stores and you wanna download it, okay? Um, also, the, you have some the background to the, do the terminal shell, like uh, it's a uh, Unix, uh, Linux, uh, the, those are, you know, shell system. And then all the code and you put the patches in and then that way that you can bypass uh, your iCloud so what after you um, um, you know bypass this and then you are able to um, uh, download the uh, new newest the uh, you know Mac OS version which is uh, MS OS Big Sur and then you inst um, uh, go to the disk utility utilities and then the erase the, your the current uh, storage and then, uh, and then after that, you will reinstall a Mac OS Pixel. And then it uh, just step by step, then you, you will have a written and spoke languages, and then uh, setting your Mac, and then how to connect, and then you go to the, the Wi Fi mode, and then also the, um, just uh, explain to your Apple configurator tool, and T2, MacBook Pro, and MacBook Air, and the FU booting instruction has you hold the um, uh, option and control key. And then the right shift key, and then your power button. So and then you have, you have uh, this four function all together, and then you will get into it. 
So the latest version of apps for configuring to install any Mac that supports Mac uh, 10, 14 point, uh, point, uh, 6 has internet access. You may need to configure your web proxy in a firewall port to allow all network traffic from Apple devices to Apple network. Um, uh, or supported a USB-C to USB-C charge cable, such as a one sold by Apple. And then I'll support the USB-A to USB-C cable. So the my uh, the MacBook Pro to when I connect the uh, this DFU mode, this is uh, only 2015. So I that one's a USB A type, and then Thunderbolt uh, USB C type. Those are uh, has been using for the data cable. So beside that, if you are Mac is uh, between the 2011 to 2017, and then you you can also have um, uh, the activation remove the EFI password lock fix corrupted firmware and disable the app, remove MDM mobile device management, DEP device in normal profile. So if you guys have any questions and share the idea and how to uh, um, unlock uh, or bypass your, um, you know, your the bro broken or like, uh, you, know, you know, activation lock or iCloud lock on it, and then you want to contact me how to unlock this. And then I just have a basic, um, you know theory how to unlock um, those those your um, you know the one says uh, activation lock, lock and then uh, you know the, you might need my help or you can uh, research yourself uh, to uh, act, um, uh, reactivate your the Mac Mini uh, 2018 um, I think uh, Mac Mini 2018 or 20 uh, who, which one has a uh, T2 chip is the hardest one that ever in my life to uh, unlock or bypass it. Thank you very much to watch my video. And then if you want to share the, your idea, uh, please feel free to contact me at any time. Thank you very much.